What is up, everybody? Azario here, and welcome to another ABS Play uploading schedule for the week of October 23rd to October 29th. This is, we're well getting into the the heavy releases of the final quarter of the year. And we got a lot of things to talk about in this video, you know, some things that I haven't had to speak on since, since like, what, 2013? Um... But nevertheless, man, it's, it's a lot of good content coming out this week alone that I just got to speak on because it's no way in hell I'm missing this stuff. No way. Um, so first and foremost, uh, let me talk to you guys about um, uh, the games that I was playing and that unfortunately I had to give up on due to there being some ridiculous things that we've had to deal with in 2016 that we should no longer have to be dealing with. And some of you have seen the videos already. Uh, if you have not, I'm talking about uh, Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Um, in the final video that I uploaded of that playthrough, there was a massive game bug that caused a section of the game to not load. Now, at first, I thought this was just like a simple glitch. I mean, in video, I restarted the game, I took the disc out the system, um, I restarted, you know, uh, you know, the game over and over again, and it was the same outcome, you know, the, 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 that area of the game did not, uh, load, and when I looked online, I seen that people were experiencing, those same problems in various parts of the game, and it's, it's, it's game-breaking. Like, I can't progress any further until they release a patch for the game, which is sad to say in 2016, for a PlayStation 4 game, of, of all things, we have a video game, which I guess some people would consider to be a AAA title. Um, we have a AAA title that's not you know, that hasn't been refined to where we wouldn't have these problems. And it all goes back to, you know, beta testing your game. I mean, how do you miss something such as a bug that's so obvious that it's game-breaking and people can't finish the story? You know what I mean? Like, I'm pretty sure they worked hard on the game, but you got to test your games, man, because otherwise, you know, shit like this is going to happen. And there's no way we should, have be, we should be having game-breaking bugs like that in any game on today's generation system. It's just ridiculous. So, I mean, I can't really say anything other than that. They use X Mankind Divided. It has to be, I don't know, I guess you could say postponed. I guess it has to be fixed, you know, but I can't play it anymore. So, the game play is at a standstill. So, unfortunately, I can't progress any, I, I can't progress any further into the game until they fix it. And looks like that that patch isn't going to be out anytime soon, so I can't really <clears throat> think anything about it. Uh, but nevertheless, man, um, XCOM Two—that's another game that I sent back to, to GameFly. I'm going to be sending back, uh, I'm sending back Deus X: Mankind Divided in the morning. Um, you know, but XCOM Two—you guys know my big complaint about that game. Uh, I, um, you know, I've had, like, that was, like, one of the games that had a ridiculous, a ridiculously difficulty spike on the very first mission. I'm not talking about the tutorial, I'm talking about the first mission that they allow you to play by yourself, um, on your own. That mission was on a difficulty level that it should not have been, you know, um, but a few videos of that gameplay that I did upload, you guys can see for yourself the ridiculousness I had to endure on the first mission. And what's so funny is that I had the, the video game difficulty set to normal. I think that was like, what, veteran? Um, I believe that was like the normal uh, like the normal difficulty in, um, in XCOM 2. Yeah, but it was on normal. Um, and the mission itself was labeled to be an easy mission and 
the way the, the 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 game was playing, you would think that you was playing the game on like very very hard or something, or like whatever the highest difficulty was in the game. You would you, you honestly would feel like you was playing that because it was just bullshit after bullshit after bullshit. And by the time I did beat it, because I decided to say fuck it, I just changed it to easy, which is funny because easy felt like normal. And it, I don't know, man. Like it was just like like the difficulty levels weren't accurate and it, it just caused the like it really just wore me out to the point where I could have continued with the game and maybe on the difficulty level that I had set to it before I sent it back, maybe it would have, you know, felt I guess you could say felt like the game would have been something. It felt like it could have been a good game, but at that point like the damage was already done. I just said fuck it and I just sent it back. Because nobody should have to be dealing with that type of BS in a, in a video game. It, you know, some, I read somewhere, some people said that it was some game bugs that they had to fix. That, you know, that the accuracy of the characters um, wasn't up to par. And if that's the case, man, well, damn. You know, I, I, I just didn't want to deal with that no more. So... XCOM 2 sent back to Gamefly. I'm not, I really don't care to even bother playing it. It's like, it's a part of me that wants to play it again because I like tactical RPGs like that. But what they did in the game was so damn stupid. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the way they, they programmed that game, is just it, it was so bad that to where you just had to, you know, get rid of it. So I just sent it back to Gamefly and with they use X Mankind Divided. It's a game breaking bug. I can't continue, you know, with the game like I want to because it's a bug that's preventing you from progressing any further. You know, that section of the of the game will not load up. So I you know, it causes you to fall down to, you know, like game hell or whatever the hell people want to call it. But it it's causing those problems, basically. So you guys can watch the last video where I speak about, where I talk about the, the massive game breaking bug. You know, it's just it's just sad to see that that's what we have to deal with in 2016. You know, but what can you do? But with those games being out the way, I don't really have too much holding me back from all the new stuff that we got coming out this week. And trust me, we got some really really good stuff coming out this week. Um, so first and foremost. Um, we have episode three, if I'm not mistaken, we have episode three of the t of Batman, the Telltale series, coming out um, on the 25th, if I'm not mistaken. But, but it's going to be out this week, supposedly, from what I read, from what I read. Um, we have the ashes of, 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 um, I hope I pronounced this name right. The Ashes of uh, uh, um, Ariandel. I believe that's how you pronounce that. The Ashes of Ariandel in Dark Souls 3. The first, um, I don't know how many DLC, you know, expansions they're going to release, but th that's the first uh, DLC. Um, expansion for Dark Souls 3 that is also going to be released on you know on the 25th so we got that to look forward to um I guess at this point let me go to Gamefly so I can show you guys we have Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 being released on the 25th but, but they ship it like a day early but I, I think I'm gonna end up buying Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 I don't think I want to um rent that I'm thinking about getting the season pass for it, but season passes for Dragon Ball Z games, they don't really, like, they kind of still leave much to be desired. You know, I, I kind of avoided the season pass for Dragon Ball Xenoverse, and it was actually like I dodged a bullet because they didn't really do too much with it. I don't know if they're going to add more content because, you know, with Dragon Ball Super, at the time Dragon Ball Xenoverse was out, um, Dragon Ball Super, uh, Dragon Ball Super, that was still in development. Um, I, don't, I don't even think they announced it. I don't think too many people knew about it, but it was just in talks. But now that Dragon Ball Super is out, who knows? Maybe they'll do more with DLC. Well, I think the actual game actually, um, 
like the default story has elements of Dragon Ball Super in it. So they may or may not do any DLC for that. But I can see them doing some some DLC where they're adding more characters to the uh to the roster from Dragon Ball Super. Um even though it won't be many because it's only a few that they can add. But as Dragon Ball Super goes on, I'm pretty sure there's going to be some characters and some elements that they can add into Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. So that's something to look forward to. Um, and then we have World of Final Fantasy, a game that was announced at E3 this past, uh, at this past uh, summer. Um, and it looked to be a pretty fun fucking game. I haven't played a Final Fantasy game in so long that I'm... Like, I can't begin to tell you how much I'm looking forward to this. This is probably, you know, I think the last Final Fantasy game I played was, I think, Final Fantasy The Crystal Chronicles. I think that was the last one I played. And that was on the Nintendo DS. So, you know, back when I used to do my Nintendo DS playthroughs. Uh, so that, that right, right there is like a game that I'm really looking forward to playing and it, 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 it kind of wet my taste buds for Final Fantasy uh, 25 um, that'll be out around like the end of next month but that game right there is really gonna really has me hyped so I'm looking forward to that um, so we have a lot of games and content coming our way this week also uh, the Halloween uh, special I made up my mind, and I already know what game I'm going to play for the Halloween special. Now, for the Halloween specials, let me just say this as a D, as a um, as a uh, disclaimer. When I play Halloween specials, I don't play the game to beat them necessarily, unless it's a really good one that I like, and I just feel like you know uh, continuing with it. The intention is just to do something special for Halloween. It isn't made to, um, you know, complete. You know, that's the reason why I played the last Halloween special. I, I can't even remember what I played, but, you know, like I never got finished with it because it wasn't intended to be uh, something to complete. It was just something to have fun with for, you know, Halloween. And this time I have a game that may change that, you know, depending on how good or bad it is, but um, yeah, you guys are going to see this week, and I'm looking forward to, to playing it, but these other games they got coming out, man, all this extra content, man, they really hyping me up, and one last game um, that I mentioned, that, that I forgot to mention, the Call of Duty Infinite Warfare beta, that game, that beta is actually, if I'm not mistaken, I think the beta is live right now, um, I'm not 100% sure. I think the beta is live right now, but I don't know if I got a pre-order or not, but they did announce that you could play the beta. I think it was this weekend, and I'm off this, you know, on the day the beta starts. I'm off work on the day the beta starts, so most definitely I'm going to have to check that out. So, but if it's live right now, I'll probably get a few matches in. You guys know I don't play too many first-person shooters as it is, but Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, it, it looks interesting. I'll, I'll give it a whirl. Pretty sure I'm gonna get my ass handed to me, but you know, I'm gonna have fun with it nonetheless. <laughs> but yeah, man, it's just so much coming out this one week that I'm just looking forward to it. And, um, you know, yeah, man, so that's the meat of it. Also, you know, just to throw it out there <clears throat> and to show you guys, I did, um, upload a promo video for all my Yu Gi Oh! 101 viewers out there. Uh, ADS Play Cards, the promo video is out to kind of get you guys to migrate over to that Yu-Gi-Oh! channel. Um, it houses all of the new Yu-Gi-Oh! content that I've uploaded over the past week, you know, over the past month or so, and m more Yu-Gi-Oh! content is coming. So if you guys are into, missed the Yu-Gi-Oh! 101 series on ADS Play 101, um, because I will be taking down, like, the playlist off the channel. I'm not going to delete them from YouTube, but I'm just going to take them down off the channel because this is primarily a a gaming channel, and I want to kind of cater to that audience. Um, so the 
Yu-Gi-Oh content has its own Yu-Gi-Oh channel. The Yu-Gi-Oh content has its own channel at ADS Play Cards. So, you know, you might have to scroll down if you search for it in the, in, in the, um, in the search box. I kind of showed it in the promo video. But let me just uh, type it in here so you guys can see for yourself what I mean. Because um, when you type in ADS Play Cards in the search box, you actually got to scroll down a little bit to actually find the channel. ADS Play 101 right there. Um, thing was stop lagging and just load and find out loud. There you go. So you got to scroll down a little bit. Now you can do it like this or you can click on ADS Play 101 and to the right uh, corner of the of the channel you guys can see a link to ADS play cards right there so you guys can just click on that and they'll take you right to the channel you see I have um, more card reviews from Raging Tempest and I'm going to finish them uh, either tonight or tomorrow early morning tomorrow um, so you got and I have archetype reviews coming as well so if you guys are a fan of the UVO 101 series it's being continued at its permanent home on ADS play cards so you guys go there subscribe and keep up to date with all the Yu-Gi-Oh content that you guys missed before <laughs> so I mean everything's coming man so I have a lot more con when I say a lot more content coming it's a lot more coming either later on tonight or tomorrow so you guys keep your eyes eyes peeled over there and subscribe um trying to get more people to migrate over to ADS Play cards that missed the Yu-Gi-Oh 101 content I've, I've put out on ADS Play 101 in the past, and it's being continued on ADS Play cards. So just you know, go there and subscribe if you missed the Yu-Gi-Oh content. That's basically it. So, with that being said, man, uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm looking forward to all the gameplays that I have coming. This week, I mean, this is going to be a very, very, very fun week, and I just cannot wait for everything to, to come about, man. This is going to be a very fun week, so thank you guys for watching. Peace, and I will see you guys uh, this week for gameplay. Get hype. Get fucking hype.